It would seem that in an age where men walk on the moon and wars or threats of wars are a daily occurrence, there could be little left to stir one's interest and imagination. Unless, perhaps, it is a dream of the tall masts and wind-filled canvas of a sailing ship billowing out to sea. For most of us, sailing on such a ship can only be a dream. Next best is a chance to climb the gangway and tread the decks of a salty square rigger. In our bicentennial year, millions of Americans have had this opportunity as Operation Sail 76 has brought the greatest of the world's tall ships to American cities. First, they came from their home ports in South America, Europe, Russia, and the British Isles to a rendezvous in Bermuda. Assembling for the race was not without incident. The Juan Sebastian de Alcan from Spain collided with the Libertad from Argentina in the Jackrabbit start from Bermuda. The Coast Guard's participation was a sharp contrast of the old and the new. The square rigged bark Eagle, training ship for our academy, and the newest in Coast Guard ships, the 378-foot, turbine-powered, high-endurance cutter Morgenthau. The Eagle to participate in the race, and the Morgenthau to provide escort during the run for Newport. For the tall ship's crews, the race would be a test of long, practiced precision. A group of men thinking, acting, responding as one with open canvas to the wind. Tend those yards and keep the sails full and drawing. But the crews can only use the wind, not make it. And when it fails, even the proudest sailing ship becomes helpless. Becalmed, limp-hanging sails await renewed stirring of the winds as captains look hopefully to distant horizons and check each new weather chart for a sign of freshening breezes. Plenty of routine ship's work keeps the crew bustling. And music for the lull a tune called Waiting for the Wind. They even tried a wind dance and incantations to the wind gods. But for the becalmed ships of Operation Sail, the wind did not return, and the race for Newport had to be canceled. The captains of the Coast Guard Eagle and the Russian ship Kruzhenstern took advantage of the glass-like seas to exchange cadets. Young Russian trainees were welcomed aboard Eagle, and Coast Guard cadets boarded the lifeboats for their trip to Kruzhenstern. Whatever strangeness of language barrier might have existed was quickly overcome by warm handshakes and the common bond of square rigger men. Finally, the sails filled and again was heard the welcome sound of water rushing past the bow. And canted decks and straining canvas be told of a fair wind for Newport. Sing that cheer alive, 
With the first landfall came the lead boats of what was to become an almost unbelievable waterborne welcoming committee. An array of runabouts, sailboats, launches, and cruisers, the likes of which even Newport had never seen. Once anchored and docked in Newport Harbor, the opsail ships held open house for thousands of visitors. On the Eagle, TV actor Artie Johnson happened by to find out how Opsail was going and to direct the ship's band in his own inimitable fashion. But the big show would be in New York, where thousands of pleasure boats, tugs, ferry boats, and other spectator craft and men of war of the International Naval Review Fleet line the parade route. Other thousands of spectators perched on seawalls, on piers, and inside buildings from the Narrows to George Washington Bridge. Finally, near noon on July 4th, the world's greatest modern-day collection of sailing ships made their way into New York Harbor, led by the host ship, our own Eagle. The tall ships approached the Statue of Liberty. One by one, they passed this grand symbol of 200 years of freedom and liberty. was perhaps the highlight of Operation Sail, but it was by no means the final tribute to be paid to the magnificent ships and their crews. For they would visit many ports after New York, and at each would play host to thousands of visitors. And a chance to meet and talk to the men who go down to the sea in tall ships almost hear the sounds of taut rigging and full sails against the wind. To dream of skilled and hardy men sailing a gallant ship always toward a distant horizon.